Jesus Christ. I lost so many positions. I've been shafted there. Welcome back everyone to some more F122 and will you look at that the car has changed to the updated livery I think there was an update in the game where the, it, the Japanese or the Asian livery of the McLaren team got added to the game um, Still fourth on the grid here so we should be still competitive with the front runner so let's see if we can scratch some more points away from the leaders here we are looking quite solid uh p3 last time out of course so we're making good progress here will you look at that p3 and fastest lap around belgium but it's the dutch grand prix time netherlands let's get close to race weekend all right then it's time for the f1 weekend here's the deal we did the pearly hot lap event solid laps overall and it's very solid um lap times as well we were getting faster and faster on track we had to go through a number of gates in the a lot of time i knew reach a certain distance checkpoint uh style so we were able to get 9335 or so meters which is gold overall so that is a beautiful sight to see we really knocked it out of the park felt good in the aston martin but yeah it's time for the mclaren f1 car which will be a lot better to handle around this track so let's see if we can get a decent lap in and see if we can stay competitive on the field. Welcome to qualifying around Zandvoort. It is pouring rain out here, so it's going to be an extremely wet qualifying session. And the race is going to be dry, so we're going to stick to our guts here and stay on the dry setup for the race. We may have to compromise our qualifying to some degree. If we end up being knocked out in Q1, I'm going to take a whole new engine to prepare for us for the rest of the season. So we'll see if uh, that happens. But I don't think so. We set the fastest lap in free practice. We were blasting through the laps, really finding some pace here and there we were using very worn engine components for that practice session as well so i'm surprised that we were able to get a fast lap time so i'm not too worried we'll see if the wet qualifying session makes any difference right now i highly doubt it so we'll see um i'm interested i'm intrigued to see how the grid switch shuffles up because the rain really neutralizes the field so yeah we're gonna head out short laps around here of course so let's just see how our laps look we're just gonna go for laps here for laps or so let's see what my fastest time looks like here we go here we go final bend here bank turn around zanvort is commons but yeah coming up to the start finish straight let's go power 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 let's see it is intermediate time so i think wow fastest lab of course wow let's see if we can improve on it it's intermediate condition, so I'm not too worried about the car performance because we should be relatively okay on inters. It's when it's super wet that we have a problem. Either my first lap was really sloppy or the track is evolving immensely. We're improving by about six tenths. That means we may have to do a lap at the very end here. Let's see, we're dipping into the 119s. So... It's looking like we may have to go at the very very end just to make sure we stay in the lead and into Q2. Not at all. I didn't need to go out again. Fastest of the bunch here in the inters. P7 for Norris though. That's good. The TV show Verojo and Magnuson are out. Usual suspects. Let's move on to the next round. Let's take a look at our first lap here. Not the cleanest but I think it should be a decent banker on use. Okay. Never mind. Scratch that. We just set the fastest lap. Unused tires from Q1. Wow. Okay. Let's go for another lap on these and see if we can improve on it. Otherwise, I think we should be through to the final round here. Wow. All right. The AI is struggling, but Lando Norris is just behind me. Let's go. This is a strong showing from McLaren. 1 2 in Q2. Gasly, Albon, Bottas, Ocon, and Tsunoda are out. Let's move on to the final round. Unexpected, but. Let's see if we can put this car on pole. All right, let's see our first level Q3. Fresh tires, all right. 119.0, fastest of the bunch. Looking good, let's cool down, go for another lap, see if we can improve on it. Improving about a 10th here, and I just realized the clock has come out to indicate that the session is nearly ending. All right, we're improving about a 10th. 
All right, let's quickly go back in and try to get a faster lap. Here we go, final bend. I don't know if I'm improving. Uh, not much. Almost the identical lap, pretty much. But yeah, pole position. Let's go. That's what we love to see. Yes. That's what we love to see. P1. The rain really neutralized the track today. We were able to stay competitive against the Ferraris and Red Bull cars. We are ahead of both teams. Actually, all three teams ahead of us. The Ferraris, Red Bull, and Mercedes cars. So, let's see what we can do from P1 today. This is a stellar position to start from. Thankfully, it was intermediate. It's not wet. Otherwise, it would have been a disaster class. But let's head on in in P1. Pole position, baby. Welcome along then to the North Sea coast and to the Zandvoort circuit. We're 25 miles away from Amsterdam for today's Dutch Grand Prix. It's a race the great Jim Clark won on four occasions, leading for an astonishing total of 370 laps. Zandvoort circuit then, 14 corners, 10 to the right and four to the left, with plenty of steep camber and elevation changes to keep our drivers on their toes throughout the 2.6 mile lap. And watch out for cars making use of the DRS zone into turn one to attempt an overtake. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. The Fixen lines up on pole position, and a very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Russell, Sergio Perez, and Hamilton, Norris, Fernando Alonso, Mick Schumacher, and Yuki Tsunoda. Leclerc, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Bottas, Pierre Gasly, and Joe. Stroll, Latifi, Esteban Ocon, and Alex Albon. Magnussen, they've taken a grid penalty, and Sebastian Vettel starts from the back of the grid. Now it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. It's just about time to go to the track for the beginning of the race, but before we do, Natalie Pinkham, what types of strategy do you think we can expect going into today's race? Well, there's a lot that both driver and the team have to keep in mind when going into a race. The tyres, fuel, energy recovery system, the list goes on and on. But I think the key to today's victory will come down to the pit stop strategy. Come in too soon and you might find yourself needing more than one stop. Too late and you're putting yourself at a disadvantage by spending longer on worn tyres. Alright, let's dive straight into it then. It is time for Zandvoort. Uh, they want us to sprint on the softs. Alright team, I'll trust you on this one. Don't screw me over. And we will overfuel the car a little because I do need the fuel to fight everyone else. Let's go. Pole position, baby. Alright, let's park up. Park up, park up, park up. Purple for our okay, splendid park, getaway, yeah, hopefully. Nice People are gonna park up. I think my tire temps might drop a little into the 80, low 80s, maybe into the 79, 78 region. All right, everyone's lined up. Let's get it going then. Five red lights here in Zanvoort. Pole position start, lights out. And we're off. Let's sprint, let's sprint, let's sprint. Stay behind me, you losers. It's McLaren's time to shine. Come on, Heidi. Let's get a clean race in. Let's run away on the softs. We're stepping and Russ also on the soft. We may need to pit opposite them. Oh, yellow flag, yellow flag. What is that for? There is an Alpha Tari up. Safety car, safety car. Alright. Safety car's out already. Seems like there was a crash involving Pierre Gasly. Alright. Let's take it calmly then. I want to save these tires. 8%, 9% wear already. What are we saying? Lap 10 pit. So it's too early to pit for anything right now. 
think the safety car should be relatively short considering the pack is pretty much together. Here we go. Safety car is in. Safety car is in. So we need to take it slow here, I guess. I'm gonna wait until the safety car is in the pits. I just need to make sure my tires are heated. 77 should not be too bad. I think the safety car is coming into the pits now. Alright, I get to dictate the pace, so I'm gonna take it slow. Let's go. Punch it. Let's get it. Alright, decent restart. Still ahead of Verstappen. Gonna ruin the Dutchman's day. Hmm, I don't know if it's faster going around the outside or going around the inside. Seems like they're pretty similar on pace. But P1 for now. Let's keep going until our pit stop. Should have stolen the DRS off him. No, I didn't. What? How is this possible? Oh my god. Okay, Verstappen's got the undercut on us. Oh my god, I thought I had the DRS there, but no, I did not. Oh, that was scary. Some of the salt compound tire runners are in, I think. But we're off. Two more laps, let's go. Box this lap. Time to pit. Get out of the way. Let's go. Let's get out of the way for Norris. I think he might be going an additional lap. We're jumping in. Alright, just in time. Boom, optimal pit. That was a fantastic stop. Oh, I got held up by the Alpine. You're kidding me. Wow. How much did I get held up there? Jesus Christ. I lost so many positions. Oh my god. I've been shafted there. Oh, that was a bad pit stop, guys. That was a bad pit stop. I have so much to fight for now. Alright, let's see how badly I got shafted here. Where does my teammate release? Way ahead of us. Goodness me, how badly did I get shafted? Ah. Oh. Got around the Haas there. Come on. Oh, this pit stop really shafted me. Oh. Oh, they both lost DRS on each other. Interesting. Ah. Come on. Oh, how is Schumacher getting fast? How is Schumacher faster than me there? What is going on? This battle is definitely not what I need right now. Come on, get me past the clear. How is he faster? He must be dumping his ERS there, right? Ah, I slipped! The car has no stability, man.
Get good, Leclerc. Let's get a rival Russell here. Come on. We need this. Come on, surely we got him here. Ah, Verstappen's even ahead of us. Come on. Dump the rest of the ERS. We're gonna dive it up the inside. Let's go. Classic move. Oh my god, 10 seconds until Verstappen. I got so shafted with that pit stop, bro. Unbelievable. I got held up by like 20 seconds or something. Goodness me. And this traffic didn't help me either. Okay, we got Gotifi in the pits. Please tell me I release ahead of him. Yep, I do. That's another position gained. What do you mean McLaren? Latifi's there. Norris is still ahead of me by 12 seconds. Dang! Magnussen and Ocon are still ahead of me, man. No. Don't do it, Magnussen. Oh, we got past Magnussen. Good. We got Ocon to negotiate past. Oh, man. This is a big challenge now. Big challenge. Come on, give me this. Come on. Dive. Alcon left the door open for me. Thank you. Really pushing this car, man. Come on, P6. Yeah, catching the guys ahead is going to be impossible. Okay, oh, yellow flag, yellow flag. Late yellow flag here. Is that going to be a safety car of some kind? Looks like a Ferrari's out. Or is it? No, it's an Alpha. No, it's an Alpine now. Fernando Alonso's out. Von Stroll's out. Okay, out Two cars out. That surely is a safety car. No, no safety car despite two cars being out. Maybe because we don't have enough laps for a safety car. Ah, shame. Okay, just two laps of fuel remaining now. They should have retired a bit sooner than it would have given us a safety car to catch up. Sadly, that's not the case. Grand Prix's over pretty much. Man, it's heartbreaking when it's all the pit walls fall today. They should have told me to go two laps more or something or additional lap. Oh god, that's the dangerous part of the circuit. Another dangerous part of the circuit. Well, we're coming up to the final lap now. Man, it's heartbreaking when it's not my fault. It's all the fall on the pit wall. I drove brilliantly today. Got P1 in qualifying. Had a real chance to win it. That was my first warning of the session as well. No mistakes from me, but a bunch of mistakes from the pit wall. I need myself from the F1 Manager Series to sit on that pit wall and give me directions. Unbelievable how much Mark Scuffle did today. And it was Zach Brown. Like you lost, should have told me to stay out. I should have stuck to my gut, but then again... I was too concentrated on driving and sticking to the plan that I didn't even consider that the AI would do the exact same strategy as the one that I got proposed. So I always need to consider going short or maybe a bit longer. Because dang, that really ruined my race today. Being held up in the pits. Worst experience ever. Seems like it's going to be a P6 for me. As long as I keep my eyes on the road and keep myself focused. Science wins the Grand Prix, I think. And that's that. Shame.
Real shame. No real mistakes for me. Man, I am ticked off after that one. I am ticked off. Well, P6. I don't know. I really okay, don't. What a drive that was to take the win for Ferrari today. So Natalie, what do you think helped them deliver this result? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we could talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those that we've witnessed today. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. We had so much potential for this weekend to be a massive points grabbing session. Sadly, we miss out on 17 points. We could have had 25, we settled for 8. Sainz, Perez, Verstappen on the podium, Hamilton, Norris, Lieberman, Ocon, Magnussen, Leclerc, and Schumacher in the top 10 points. Sonoda, Albon, Bottas, Vettel, Latifi, Joe, Russell, Alonso, Stroll, and Gasly round it out with Alonso, Stroll, and Gasly not finishing the race, of course. Let's take a look at the standings. Not much changes because I lost so many points. I could have overtaken Sainz as well, but I did not get the full points today. But P6 for me right now, or P6 for Heidi Lieberman right now, and we're still stuck in P4 in the Constructors. Could have made a lot of points today, but I just don't understand why the pit crew are so stupid in this game. But anyway, it is what it is. We move on to the next one, which is uh, Monza, not Imola, Monza. So we'll see if we can get another good race weekend in. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe using the red button down below to be in the loop with this series. Also, check out my F1 manager series as well, because I needed myself on the pit wall today to guide me through this chaos. But... It is what it is. We move on. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in. Take care. See you in the next one.